This is Stu Ellis with your Illinois Corn Connection, brought to you by Illinois Corn. As you begin the 2023 planting season, imagine that you're doing it in Ukraine. What's it like? Well, let's ask Ukrainian farmer Kies Husengay. I farm in the middle of Ukraine, uh, 200 kilometers south of Kiev, in the direction of Odessa. Okay, and what do you raise? Winter wheat, winter barley, winter canola, uh, sunflowers, sugar beets, corn, soybeans, cows, vegetables. Right. You, did you get a, a, everything planted for this year and able to harvest it? Yeah, lo- yeah, we did. I mean, most of the season was already prepared, of course, over the winter. So a lot of inputs we already had in stock and uh, the stuff we didn't have, we, we managed to quickly uh, acquire. Um, yeah, so we, we managed to plant everything and the season has been average. Um, and harvesting of corn is still left. There's like half of the corn harvest is still out in the fields. And it, wet, it's, it's been wet, so uh, weather-wise it's, uh, it, it's been difficult. But no we'll get reaction get in your way to do anything? No, not physically. We, so we are in the middle of Ukraine, in the middle of nowhere, so we were lucky. Uh, but our colleagues, you know, in the front lines and in the occupied areas, they have, they have tough times. What about next year? Do you, will you have access to enough seed and fertilizer and fuel for getting a crop in next spring? Seeds, fuel, uh, crop protection, I don't think there will be too much of a problem. But fertilizer can be an issue. Uh, a lot, of, a lot of it came from Russia and Belarus, and obviously we won't get it directly from there anymore. And um, shortage of gas and extre- or extreme high gas prices, that prevents the nitrogen factories of producing fertilizer. And also the bombing of the, ele- the electricity infrastructure. Uh, the, the, the nitrogen fertilizers don't have electricity anymore, so they can't produce uh, nitrogen. So that's, I'm afraid there's going to be an issue. You said your crops go to Odessa. What's, uh, how, how do you get paid for those? And do those, uh, uh, is it just stored there until somebody can ship it out? No, we have a, a good relationship with ADM, uh, the big grain trader. And uh, we've been working with them for 20 years. And um, so they've been good to us. We've been good to them. I mean, we never uh, uh, screwed them, so to say. <laughs> so uh, now they take our, they, they take our, uh, our crops, they fulfill their contracts, and they pay us. So um, no, and, and the, grain co- the grain corridor, the Black Sea grain deal, uh, really has been good for us. So. Um, so, yeah, we managed to export the wheat, the barley, the canola, and part of the sunflowers. And it was your Illinois Corn Connection. I'm Stu Ellis. To learn more about how Illinois corn is working for you, visit www.illcorn.org.